here. Today we are going to talk about the uh, Milwaukee Packout mounting plate. If you're new to the channel, uh, think about hitting that subscribe button, hit the like button if uh, this uh, video brings value to you. Traditionally I like to do Milwaukee reviews and tool reviews uh, mainly. I do do some how-to videos. So without further ado, this is the Milwaukee Packout mounting wall plate. Now it retails for about $30, depending on where you get it. And basically it's just a piece of plastic that you can use for your pack out system that you can use it to mount anywhere. So you can mount your pack out system anywhere. You can mount it on the wall. You can mount it on a you know, piece of metal, you can mount it on plywood, you can even mount it to the back of the bed of your truck. Now what this has is it has washers that are already built in to the pack out unit when it gets injected molded. So these washers that are on the inside and outsides of the pack out unit, they're not gonna fall out. They're, they are in there to stay, which is really nice because you don't have to worry about searching for washers if you uh, want to mount this unit. All you need is, if you're mounting it to wood, you probably want to use about quarter inch lags. On the side here, they have these rods. And these rods are for if you have a box that's not a pack out unit and you just want it to, like if, you, if this is mounted into the bed of your truck and you don't want that toolbox going anywhere, these are mainly going to be like little straps, uh, anchors for straps. So you can take like bungee cords or ratchet straps. Uh, they, they recommend it when you ratchet strap down, don't tighten it, just kind of secure it because we know how we like to get crazy on our ratchet straps when we tighten stuff down and go as tight as we can. You don't want to do that. These will just probably end up breaking off and, or bending. So the, these washers are spaced out. So if you want to mount it to a wall, they're spaced out every about 16 inches apart. If you mount this to the wall, the mounting capacity is about 50 pounds. That's what Milwaukee recommends. And if you are mounting it to your truck, uh, I want to say that the, the mounting capacity, what you want, what you can put on it is a hundred pounds. So I think you can put a little bit more than that, but that's just what Milwaukee highly recommends. Even if you're mounting this to the wall of your, uh, your van or anything like that, the, the mounting capacity is going to be recommended 50 pounds. So, uh, when we mount this, we want to make sure that we mount this, that the, uh, it mounts in a certain way. So if you take a look at this, see how the channel, you, you, the smaller part of the, I don't even know what you want to call that. The, the smaller rectangle is facing down and you, you want that down because if you face it the other way, your pack out tools are not going to lock in properly. I kind of wish that Milwaukee kind of on here, they didn't put kind of an arrow of which way you should mount it. If you're mounting the crates, you have to mount it that way. If you're if you're putting it up, up on the wall and you're using other, your small little pack outs, your little pack out boxes, you can pretty much put it any, any way that you want. But if you're using the new Milwaukee uh, cargo bins, you have to mount it a certain way. If you take a quick look at this, this pretty much looks exactly like the Milwaukee Dolly that I just did a review on. It's not, the plate is not as thick, but I kind of wonder if you could maybe mount some wheels to it and kind of use it as a uh, pack out dolly. You're not gonna have the brake, but you know, be something to try. Now when I mount this, I have these mounted all over the place. I have one mounted to my Kubota that I would, uh, that I use to, I mount it on the back rack of it and I use it to put my little pack out boxes on there for screws or anything like that. And then I also have a drill that I uh, 
mount to the back of it just so it kind of keeps it out of the way of the bed that way I can put other stuff in the bed if I'm putting hay or anything back there and my tools are out of the way and then I also have one mounted to the back side that I can use for a toolbox too if I want it and then I also have some mounted in the shop that I use for the bins or I uh, also will use them for you know just mounting my other pack out stuff kind of keeping it up on out of the way all right now one thing i don't like about the pack up mounting plate is with these new milwaukee bins you can only unlike other other the other pack out units you can stack multiple ones on there but now with the pack out bin you can only put one of the pack out bins per mounting plate which I don't really care for. I don't I, I don't like that. I, I, I like hanging them on the wall. That's awesome But I really wish that Milwaukee would have made the design so you can uh, put at least two Bins that would have been a really nice thing. So on the price of this it like I said It's $30 and the price isn't too bad 30 bucks. It's not as expensive as the dolly the dolly is at like 89 or something like that but that's just kind of I kind of think that's overpriced for the dolly, but that's totally, totally different. You can pretty much get these anywhere. I'll put links in the description below. I'm Philip Bridges, uh, and I will talk to you guys later.